Monday morning arrived along with a fair amount of trepidation and excitement. I'd have only three practice sessions to improve my times enough to be able to compete, measuring myself against some of the best young racing talent in the world. The conversation I had with Luca before this all began was ringing in my head as a source of constant motivation. Uh, we see how the practice uh, goes and uh, if I decide that you are not able to stay in the field with the other drivers uh, because uh, it can be dangerous for you, it can be dangerous for them, uh, I will stop you. The three hours of practice we'd get was immense, considering that's basically the equivalent of half a season of GP2 practice. The proper drivers were up to speed quickly, lapping in the 1 minute 15s. I, however, was down in the 1 minute 30s, my opening gambit as I tried to take in my surroundings and not get in everyone's way. The next thing I knew as I concentrated on my mirrors, I'd taken too much curb and spun off onto the grass. Firing the engine back up, I brought the car back to the pits. You are breaking too early. Yeah. My confidence had taken a hit, but with no time to lose, I got back out on track, consistently improving down under the 1 minute 30s and clocking a 122. 0.56 on my final lap of FP1. Good, but still eight seconds off the session leading time. I sat with Mario between sessions for some crucial data analysis. My biggest takeaway from the first session was just how much later and how much harder I could and should be braking. The biggest difference that uh, a normal driver has when coming to the car is to adapt the driving style to downforce. It's very difficult to understand how much pressure you can have on the brake and uh, how much is the car able to stop where you want. With that in mind, I was able to lower my lap time to a 119 in second practice, down to within five seconds of the session leader. I was starting to get closer. The third and final session was the one in which I'd hoped to make the biggest changes. But coming out of turn four, shifting from third to fourth gear, my right foot went flat, the rev screamed, and the car slowed. Back in the garage, my mechanic Paolo informed me the primary shaft had snapped in two. Nothing I'd done wrong, which was a relief, but still, I'd lost that most valuable of practice time. Luca said he was disappointed to see me miss the final practice session, but he'd give me two practice starts at the end of second qualifying in the morning so that I'd be okay for the race. That was that then, not even a question over qualifying. I was racing. On the next episode, I take my place on the grid for the first race of my life, but had I prepared enough in the last month and learnt enough in the last few days to see me through to the chequered flag?